Good morning, folks. We've got three lighter stories to hit on the article front. Big news is the unexpected from the solar wind. I'd say unexpected is actually the word of the day here. Starting with our star, you can see the calm settled into the northern active region. On the right, departing is the large coronal hole. And folks, it is clear that the experts had given up on this coronal hole. We told you yesterday we'd be showing you that impact this morning. Quite obviously, the experts did not agree. Forecasting low, 2 or 3 KP with no CME or coronal hole stream impacts. This morning, we've got the impact building in the solar wind. Everything is still calm as the shock front is still integrating with our magnetic field. But look at that telemetry, top line in red. Towards the right side of the chart, that jump up is the geomagnetic effect of the impact. It's 36 hours late, which makes sense in the purple. We had expected solar wind speed in the 6 to 700 kilometers per second range if it hit when expected. It's late, and obviously the telemetry date is much lower. But most importantly, folks, with this very late arriving and weaker than expected impact, we can still see powerful effects starting in the magnetic field. That's the BZ, red, up top. At very least, a KP4 instability will occur today if not a full geomagnetic storm. Full details tomorrow, expect what the government scientists don't expect today. A quick cool little nature note to start the articles, following on a story last year about them counting about 3 trillion trees on the planet, they have come down on a number of about 50 billion for the birds. Interestingly, most I talk to are either shocked at how high the number is or how low. Curious what you think. Continuing our word of the day up next, the scientists have unexpectedly discovered heavy metal vapor in the cold atmospheres of comets. They are astounded and confounded as they don't yet know what to make of these findings or what they imply about the history of the solar system. To be honest, there shouldn't be surprised to find just about any element out there given that the JPL Genesis mission found every known element in the solar wind. And of course, if the sun's 12,000 year cycle event produces those other isotopes we often discuss, these less extreme atoms should be a piece of cake. Last but not least, something I didn't expect to see in NASA's little shot of the Orion Nebula here as part of their article on James Webb. If you click on it and you just start scratching your head, you'll be like me, like this dark line curving through the greenish hue towards the south part of the photo. At first I thought it was an image artifact or a processing error, but the line goes through and around stars, and then curls back up on the other side. And where it appears to disappear at the top edges, it doesn't actually disappear. Looks like it goes back into the nebula, like it's a real thing hundreds, maybe thousands of light years across. On the left side, where it curls back towards the center, you can actually see the changing color of the curved feature as it goes back into the nebula and takes the brightening from the stars within the nebula. Folks, it appears to truly be a thing there inside the Orion Nebula. There are no good natural explanations. And most suspicious of all, this is an obvious feature in the image, no super zoom needed. And with all the UFO stuff coming out in the news and from the Pentagon, I'm suspicious that NASA just dumped this kindergarten level anomaly spotting out there so simply and said not a word about it in the article. We greatly appreciate your support. You guys figure out the dark line in Orion. My eyes are on the sun because Noah's forecast is going to break today. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.